Hi all and welcome back. So in today's tutorial we'll be looking into how we can call a UI page into a client script, okay? And what are the different ways, methods used in which we can do that? So if you are not uh, if you are not familiar with what is UI page in service now, I've already created a tutorial for the same. You can go and look into the same. So in order to call a UI page into client script, the first and foremost thing what we need is a UI page, right? So let's create a UI page first. So I will just go to UI page in the UI pages. I will not explain the components because our intention is different today and we want to give the name for the so I will give greeting as a name and will give will create a simple div whenever you are working on UI page whenever you open any tag just close it out so that it will not give errors at, at latter state and you can give paragraph I give paragraph and I will give hello and and let's close the paragraph out and then I will give h1 and I will give my name hello Amit Gujarati h1 is closed so done so we'll give only this thing into the page okay and I will try to see if this out uh, for which user, for which particular role, I will just give ITL for now because only ITL user will be playing around in events. So it got saved, okay. And to try it out, so it looks nice, okay. Hello, Mr. perfect. Now, what we'll do, we'll go to our favorite table, incident dot. Test. We'll go here. Configure. We want client script, right? And we'll be creating on on load client script. So our intention is like whenever a, a user comes to instance form, this particular message will be displayed. Okay. We'll give creating. We'll try to ha um, make him happy so that he will not screw us out with the incidents. Okay. So let's create a new. I'll get a name as um, what UI UI page call uh, type will give it as on load okay the on load thing came up and now what we have to do what we have to do is we have to call the function out so the, there are two methods using which we can call it out one is a client dialog window API and the second is Glide model one and we will see the difference between both of them. So let's use the Glide dialog one first. So how to define the syntax for it? So it's variable Glide dialog window G W D W I will give okay equal to new Glide dialog window. We have to just provide the name of the UI page. So creating and then we can simply do ddw dot render dot render so this is done okay we'll save the form and I will do now incident dot two let's see how exactly it comes up so we open the form, a dialogue is open. Oh wow, we got hello Amit But is it the truth for all the users, right? That every time it will be Amit Gujarati only? No, right? So let's do some modification. Let's go back to the UI page and do some modifications. I will just go to the history. From history, we'll go to the UI page. And now we'll be looking at how we can pass the value from client script to the UI page. So there is a syntax which you have you have to learn only okay because it uh, it's kind of tricky for me also okay so it's g and g colon evaluate okay in that we can give variable which particular variable it should store so i'll just give it a name as um for example 
Java text. Okay, expressions, expression in that we can give R RP. And if you ask from where did you get this, so I got it from service now community. Open window from parties okay dot get and in that get we have to pass the variable what will be passing from the client side okay from from the from the client side so I'll give it a name as user okay user and we can simply close it out perfect right and then we have to replace this Amit Gujarati with the same so I'll just remove this Amit Gujarati and I can do G underscore what we can do not G underscore so we have to just pass it into the curly brace so you can simply pass it like how dollar just like a main script curly braces and in in that you have to pass the variable so it was chiva text done we are done on the client side now let's do some modification to the server side for the same oh, sorry for on the client side for the same so we'll go to history from history we'll call this client call ui page and in this we have to pass that attribute now right so how to pass that attribute so it's pretty easy. Now what do you have to do? You have to light dialog window dot set preferences and in that you can give the name of the variable which I have given as user and then we can pass the value. So it's g underscore d user user dot get full name okay. and save this out so we will go to history and we will open the history new record so it's getting it should get load now and now we got Hello, system administrator. Oh, I'm system administrator, not Amit Gujarati at this particular point of time. So we got hello, system administrator. But do you think it looks good? Okay. We want to impress the user. We want to make him happy so that he will not raise an incident. But if you see this kind of pop-up, right, he will raise three incidents instead of one. So how to make it better? For that, we have another API called Glide Model. So let's see how it looks with the Glide Model one. So I will go again to the client script. You have policy call. And you must be thinking, oh, we have to learn one more method, right? One more API. But it's not that difficult. What you have to just do, I will just copy this out, okay? So that you can see the difference. Copy it out. Paste it at the bottom. We'll comment this out. Okay? And instead of Glide dialog window, you have to just add Glide. model okay so you have to just add guide model you can just change it out G, gm if you want to follow some naming convention and that's it nothing has to be changed okay so the only difference is with this name only Glide dialog window instead of Glide dialog window, we have to just define the Glide model. Now, what I will do, I will save this again. We will go to the history, and hopefully, you will see the difference. We will go to the incident new record. It's getting load, and now you can see this. It looks like this. So, when it comes to Glide model, it 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 makes it beautify it supports more what we can see it's responsive okay it adjusts itself 
according to the context okay according to the content of the page so this is another way to show the ui to call the ui page from the client screen i hope this particular tutorial was useful to you okay if you like this video please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified with my future upcoming videos till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day ahead thank you